Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. In today's video, we are going to design and 3D print these beads. All right, so here in Fusion, we're gonna get started on making these beads. So there's a few ways you could go about doing this. And maybe one of the most obvious ways is to just create a sphere. And you can make the sphere whatever size you want. I, I like eight millimeter diameter, hit okay. And then you could use, you remember the idea is to 3D print this. So the idea is to have a flat bottom and then a flat top with a hole going down the center. So we could do some offset planes and we could click on this bottom plane here and drag it up. Okay, let's three millimeter sounds good, hit okay. Do another one and maybe drag it down three millimeters. And then we can go up to modify split body and then we're gonna split that sphere with those planes we made. And then we can hide those cutoffs. There we go, it's looking pretty bead-like. And then we can draw a, let's hide these construction planes. We could come up here and draw a sketch. Uh, actually, you know what? We're pretty much doing everything without a sketch, so let's just not use a sketch. And we could go to cylinder select this surface and we'll do maybe two millimeters and we'll drag that down. And there is your bead. Pretty simple. Video's over. See you next time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, one thing that can be difficult to do, I shouldn't say difficult. One thing you have to be aware of when you're designing for 3D printing is having a bevel come off the plate. Uh, if, if, this overhang gets past 45 degrees, you start getting a really rough surface. So we're gonna go through a different way. And of course this could be applied to other things you design, not just a simple bead like this, but we're gonna basically, we wanna, we wanna have as little flat surface as possible on this bead so we get more of the whole rounded object, but we also don't wanna go past this 45 degree overhang. So let's just go ahead and start a new design. And instead of doing it that way, we are going to do it with a sketch. So I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane here. I'm going to hit C for circle. And we're going to just do like an eight millimeter, eight millimeter beads, pretty good. Six millimeter, millimeter gets pretty small and 10 is kind of big, but it really just depends on what you're going for, I guess. So there's our bead. So how do we determine how we can, uh, or wh where we kind of cut this flat surface away. So what we can do is just draw a line. I'm just gonna draw a horizontal line. I'm gonna hit okay, I'm gonna dimension this to whatever it, it is there. And I'm gonna draw another line. And I'm gonna lock this in at 135 degrees and maybe we'll just do like, oh, it doesn't really matter, six. Okay. Um, so now we have this angle right here is 45 degrees and now we can move this and if you're having trouble moving this um, this line you made it's because something isn't dimensioned either this angle isn't dimensioned or the length of these lines isn't dimensioned if, if everything is dimensioned you should just be able to move this line anywhere and so now what we can do is use another tool called coincident and we can click on this point. Oh, if it's going to let me click on this point here and this circle. Well, it looks like I had to click the circle first and now it locks this point along the perimeter of the circle. I can still move this, but now that point is locked. And so the idea here is now we have a 45 degree marker and you know you could uh you could just make this a construction line so you can see it better but now we can move this so the angle of the circle doesn't go past 45 so like right here if we if we cut away the circle right here you can see here's our 45 degree angle and this outside edge of the circle is way past that 45 degree so that's not going to print very nicely so we can move this line up close and, and you know this would for sure work but we can probably push the boundaries a little bit to maybe like here or something and that looks pretty good 
Now to be really safe, you could bring it way up here so absolutely nothing is going past that 45 degrees, but this is such a small piece that you can get away with a little bit. So let's just do like right here. Okay, so there's our cutaway from our circle. Now we want to match that to the other side. So I'm gonna quickly draw a line just right here and we can make that into a construction line. And you can't see it because the measurement is in the way, but there's our construction line. And now we can near this line to the other side using this construction line. So we come up here to mirror. And whenever you click on a tool up here, a little window always pops up and kind of gives you instructions on what to do. So right now it wants us to select the object to mirror, which is this line. And the mirror line will be this. And you can see it created a copy up here and hit okay. And now we have our cutaways for our bead. Now we're gonna take this sketch and revolve it. And whenever you're gonna revolve something around an axis, you only need half of it. So I'm gonna draw another line going through it. And that basically divides the circle in half. But we can also take it one step further and draw the hole down the center. Um, everything, all these measurements are getting a little crazy. If you're starting to get confused about what's what, you can come over here into the sketch palette and we can turn off dimensions if you want. You can even turn off constraints and, and uh, construction geometries, pretty much everything. But a lot of times I'll just turn off dimensions on an easy sketch just so I've got a clearer picture of what's going on. So now we can just draw a rectangle. Uh, so I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and we're gonna do a center rectangle and we're just gonna kind of draw it till it meets up with that flat part. I'm gonna tab and make this two millimeters in diameter. So now we pretty much just revolve this profile right here. So let's go to finish sketch. We can select this profile, go to create, revolve, and we're gonna revolve around the center axis and then hit okay. And then there is our bead. Now, if you didn't want both sides to be identical, you wouldn't have had to mirror this flat surface. You could have made this much smaller up here and then only have one side be flat, but that might look a little weird if your beads aren't, aren't symmetrical like this, but there we go. Now we know um, our bead is going to print pretty much perfectly on the bottom here. And you don't have to do uh, just circles. Uh, you know, you could do ovals, so you could go up to create Where's my ellipse here? So you could do the same method um, with any shape bead. Let's say you wanted a skinnier bead like this. Do the same thing. You can draw that, you can draw that line with the 45 so you know where to cut it. And you know, you can always uh, skip the whole part and do the whole like we did um, with the cylinder on the very first part I showed. But there you go. That's how you make a simple bead for 3D printing. And uh, doing this way really ensures that you're gonna get that, that perfect print along the bottom here. All right, hope you learned something today. Pretty easy project. Uh, I will be using this project for an, uh, or these beads for an upcoming video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And the next video will kind of be related to what I'm doing here.